Our school has a great motto. It is empowering and inspiring through compassion and challenge. And for us, it's how we live every day and how we expect our students to learn and thrive. We're a school of almost 1,000 students located on two campuses. Our students engage with the IB programs and the PYP, the MYP, and the diploma program. Our school is accredited by the Council for International Schools as well as the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, known as WASC. The teaching style here is very much personalised and individualised. The nature of the subject is this way also. But if you want to understand how best to help a child learn, then you need to know what they are, who they are, what their hopes are, where they've been. And that's basically what the IB programmes ask us to do, and that's our delivery as well. Rather than doing it all editing. Uh, at BCIS, we uh, use different structures to help students access what they really want to do, follow their passions. We have students who create and run successfully their own clubs. Uh, two of our most famous clubs are the Banana Arts Club and the Flux Film um, Club, which are both international. We have students from all over the world, literally, Australia, we have students from Italy, uh, the UK submitting films for that particular festival. So in terms of student-led and for what they can achieve and create, I think BCIS is leading the way. We do this amazing thing, or the students do an amazing thing called Banana Arts. It was set up about four years ago. A group of students wanted to put on their own art exhibition. And it grew from a very small, um, maybe 10 students putting pieces of work together. And now it's international. The last one, they had 400 different artworks, literally from all over the globe. That will allow the student to make those connections and maybe become a part of something bigger. In the secondary, we have several scholarships. More than 20 students have scholarships, whether in sports, academic, or merit. Very complicated. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm confused. Our faculty come from all over the world. This year, we have teachers coming from 18 different countries. It's not just about where they're from, though. It's about what they bring to our school. If this is a place where if you're good at what you do, you love working with children, and you can really grow as a professional. If, if you're the type of teacher that really wants to make a contribution that's creative and, and enterprising and innovative, this is the type of place where you can do that because we allow people to really take those dreams and do something with them, and, um, and that's how they contribute to this school as well. I started out in the classroom as an ELL teacher and a PYP coordinator and this year I've taken on the role of the ECC principal. I think this is a very exciting place for a professional to work. You ready, set, go! Right. Up you go. So BCIS gave me the opportunity to move from uh, um, the ELL post uh, to the discipline which is actually my passion, my background, which is design technology. I have seen so many teachers come to BCIS, come to Beijing, and what they love about the school is something that I love about the school, which is we are a, we're a family. With the students, with the parents, with the teachers, we actually grow and learn and live together. It's amazing how much they learn when you guys come and interact with them. You know the saying, it takes a village to raise a child? Well, we truly believe in that. It takes all the teachers to raise our children. And we want people that can come and contribute to that and give their best. And then we can give them our best. The teams here are wonderful. I feel very lucky that I got into such a great team. Very helpful, very funny. When I joined BCIS, we had an orientation week, which was fantastic for settling in and moving to a new place. It just made moving here so much easier. It's 
So we have a really open campus here at BCIS and that means that our parents are always welcome to come and join us. They join us for you know, activities or to use our spaces. They come and see our teaching and learning. Um, our families, our, our teacher partners come as well to use the spaces. So it's a very inclusive environment. Obviously, it's important to us to honour um, China it, through our curriculum, um, through our facility, through our teachers and through our language. We have a strong Chinese language programme. Um, we also teach our students about Chinese history, Chinese culture, Chinese society. We don't just involve China. Our units pretty much are about China. Because context is so important in studying art and making art, we do units such as City Dwellers, which is about Beijing, the people in it, and the relationship between the two. Uh, we do work about protest, what, what artwork, uh, the functions of artwork, can, can art protest something? And in China, that's a real interesting thing to do. We study um, local uh, artists. We go to local galleries. Since moving to China, it has far surpassed my expectations. I never thought it was as exciting and as amazing as it is and I actually did think I'd be here for a couple of years and move on. I already want to stay for much longer. So I have lived in Beijing for 21 years so clearly for me it's like my home. Beijing is a fantastic place to live. It's exciting, um, there is always something new to do and of course it's got a deep long history that's really interesting. I've been in Beijing and China 20 years. Sometimes it's uh, a dirty city, sometimes it's pristine and beautiful. So if you want a boring place to go and live and work, don't come to Beijing, go somewhere else. It's very, uh, it's got a lot to offer in many regards. It's just got a wealth of history, um, and modernism, everything seems to be here in Beijing.